Students, we are talking about the controlled access uh, protocols, the second broad category of our MAC sublayer protocols that are used for accessing a shared or a multipoint or a broadcast medium. Students, we talked about the first protocols. Ki baat ki thi. We talked about the reservation and then we discussed the polling. Students, in the case of polling, we talked about the select and poll method. Or I have told you that one station will be uh, primary hoga, and then the, all the other stations are going to be secondary. And primary station uh, is, is actually going to be the boss um, of, the, of the actual use of the shared medium. But the drawback in that particular case was that if the primary goes down, that means your entire system goes down. So students, uh, we now go on to a third um, method or a third protocol, which is called as token passing. Students, in the case of token passing, um, the stations in the network are organized in the form of a logical ring. Uh, please remember that this is a logical ring, not a, a physical ring necessarily. So even if the network is not a physical ring, we can still employ this token passing um, technique or protocol because we just need the stations to be in a logical ring. And students, uh, in this case, for every station, there is a predecessor and then there is a successor. The predecessor for a station is the station that is immediately before that station. So in a ring, if a station has got an immediate neighbor, which is immediately before that station, then it is called a predecessor. Students, so similarly, we have got the the station that is right next to a particular station in a ring, that is called the um, successor. So students, once again, a station which is before a particular station is called the predecessor, and a station which is after a particular station in a ring is called the um, successor. Uh, students, the data transmission in a token ring, it actually happens by using a special packet that we call as token. In order to transmit data, any station will need to have the possession of this special packet or the token. If you don't have the token, you can't transmit. Once you receive the token, which is transmitted, uh, which is passed on in the form of a ring, in the case of this ring network, or topologically ring network, logical ring, only when you have this token, you can transmit the data. Once the token is passed on to the next station, which is the successor, then you will need to wait until the token comes back to you before you can throw any more data onto the link. So it's a token management is an additional function that is required in such networks. We need token management to actually monitor this token to manage the possession time as to how long a station can hold on to a token, to monitor the token, whether it's, um, it's actually good and if it's still in a, in a situation or condition that we can use. Um, priority assignment, if, if, if a station has got um, a priority, it will have a higher um, token position time. And students, so all of that is, is, is required when, when we use the token uh, passing um, access method. Uh, students, uh, in this particular case, as you must have noticed, the station, a particular station that has got data to send, that receives the token from the um, predecessor and it passes it on to the successor. So the, the communication of the token or passing on of the token, it stays between um, these three systems at all times. So if you're dealing with a, with a network which consists of quite a few uh, number of stations, then we need to take care of this token. If the system, once it has got the token, if the system goes down, goes offline, or just breaks, then the token um, gets crashed with that particular station as well. Students, as you can see in the slide, we are talking about four different topologies. In the first one, which is called a physical ring topology, when a station sends the token to its successor, the token cannot be seen by the other stations. So in this particular case, when, when the token is sent from one to two, four and three wouldn't know. So students, as I told you, successor is the next one in line for one. Number two is the successor, and number three is the predecessor in this particular physical ring. Students, this essentially means that token does not have to have the address of the next successor. It will automatically be passed on to the next system in the ring. Uh, students, in uh, this case, may if the link between one and two fails, or if either of one and two station they fail, then 
when, when, when they have the token in, in their position, then the whole, whole system fails as well. Students, uh, to avoid this, we get on to the second topology, which is the dual ring. And in this case, you have got a second auxiliary ring, which operates in the reverse direction uh, as compared to the main ring. And second ring, it, it's only used in emergency. So the red ring, uh, as you can see in this particular figure, is only used uh, when the main ring fails. And students, you'll see that uh, we use this particular high-speed token ring the dual ring technology in our high-speed token ring technologies such as our fiber distributed data interface which is called FDDI and also copper distributed data interface or the CDDI. So hence, the next one is called the bus ring topology. It's also called as um, token bus. And as I told you in this particular case, we have got a bus network so, so it's not, uh, we are not employing a physical ring topology in this case. We have got a logical ring. So in this case, when a, when a station finishes sending its data, it releases the token and inserts the address of the successor in the token. So ad, an ad address is required in the case of bus ring and our token bus LAN um, technology, it uses the, um, the bus ring. And students, the last one is a uh, star ring. And in this particular uh, uh, topology, the physical topology, as you can see, is a star. There is a hub in the middle. So this middle system is actually a hub. However, you can see that um, the, the, that hub is actually acting only as a connector in this case. So the wiring inside the hub, it actually makes the ring. And the system, uh, the stations or the systems, they are connected to, to this ring as though they have got a two-wire connection. Students, in this case, the, the network is less prone to failures because if a link goes down in this case, it will be bypassed by the hub and the rest of the stations can carry on um, operating. So if, for example, this particular link goes down, one, three, and four, these rings can carry on operating still. This is used in the case of um, token ring LAN that's um, basically designed by um, IBM. 